Hi, I'm Mark Cunningham with Grace Property Management. You know, one of the common mistakes we see our landlord investors make is not budgeting correctly for repairs. And sometimes they'll ask us, well, gosh, how much should I budget for repairs? Because they're usually thinking this number is lower than it is. So what should we tell them when they're asking us how much they should expect to pay for repairs over time? Well, let me tell you a story of what happens when you get this wrong. There's a, a publicly traded REIT, it's a REIT, a Real Estate Investment Trust, meaning you can go out and you can buy stock in a publicly traded REIT. Now, the name of this one isn't important because I don't want to get in trouble, but one of the big publicly traded REITs recently came out with news on their estimations of expenses because since they're publicly traded, they've got to release this data. And their data said this, we are estimating that our turnover and repair costs will be 6.1% of the total income. So in other words, for every $100 we make in income, we're gonna spend $6.10 on repairs. Now, is that accurate, is it not? They pay accountants big money to come up with this. This is publicly traded, so someone got paid a lot of money. How'd they come up with 6.1? I have no idea, but they did. Over this massive portfolio of thousands of homes across the US, 6.1%. Well, it wasn't too long after that that a big headline came out because they released their current earnings, and the current statement said this. It said, our maintenance, repair, and turnover costs have spiked by 42%. They missed the number by 42%. That's a pretty big number to miss on Wall Street. And of course, it sent their stock plummeting, 42%, because what they said is not that they didn't spend 6.1%. They actually spent 8.5%, thus the 42% difference between 6.1 and 8.5. It's a 42% swing. I'm guessing somebody lost their job over that. That's a big deal. Well, what should they have budgeted? And then the next month, by the way, they missed it again, another 13% increase, sent their stock into a tailspin. What we have always told our owner investors as a kind of a rule of thumb on how much you should expect to spend on maintenance over time is simply this, one month's rent. Meaning, if your property rents for $1,200 a month, on average, you should expect to spend $1,200 a year on maintenance. It's just, a, it's just a rule of thumb, and it works pretty well. We've talked to a lot of our owner clients, and we've, done, we've analyzed our data, and over time, this number seems to be pretty accurate. Now here's what's interesting. If you took this number, one month's rent, as a percentage of the total annual rent, you know, one month, 12 months, how does that, how does that calculate? It would actually be 8.3%, meaning 8.3% of your total income per year, on average, you're probably gonna be spending on maintenance. Now, let's go back to the publicly traded uh, REIT. What did they say their actual was? Their actual was 8.5. We're saying 8.3, that's right there. So even for the publicly traded REIT with thousands of homes, their actual of 8.5 would have been very, very accurate. Now that's just a baseline number, that's a baseline number. Doesn't mean all your properties are gonna be one month's rent. A Couple things you wanna consider are things like this. Are there significant capital projects that year? Do you know you're gonna be after replacing a roof in two years? Well, that's obviously gonna skew that number. What's the age of the property? If it's a brand new construction home, you're not gonna spend one month's rent each year on repairs. If the home's 100 years old, you're probably gonna spend more than that. So that's something to take into consideration. And then of course, the overall property condition. So remember, this is a baseline on a portfolio. It doesn't mean it's gonna be every year as well. Some years you're gonna have big expenditures, the hot water heater goes out. Other years, hopefully, you'll have very low expenditures. But over time, you're gonna average one month's rent on repairs. So let your owners know that when they're asking you how much they should be spending or when they're complaining about how much you're spending on their maintenance, let them know that the average is one month's rent. They can expect to spend that over time and over duration. Hey, you're also, don't forget, pulling back the curtain, coming up in a couple months here, jump on the website, go to the events tab, man, we wanna see you there. It's gonna be in Denver, it's gonna be great. We're gonna have several speakers. This is just gonna be a premier event. You are personally invited. Hope to see you there. Mark Cunningham, Grace Property Management.